What's good guys, did you know that one of the best and easiest way to make money online right now is by making money with APIs and so in today's video I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that and it's very very simple all you have to do is follow the simple steps I'm about to outline so the first thing you can check is if you go into Google and you type this phrase you're going to see that there's a lot of results a lot of people talking about it and that is because this is actually a real method it's not a bs method like many other methods this is actually a real method and if you go into google trends and you type apis you can see that it's kind of trending up as you can see especially uh, lately it's been trending up really really nicely and that is because there's a lot more interest there's a lot more uh, people that want to connect to different services, different providers and stuff like that. And do not worry, even if you're not technical, you don't know what an API is. I'm going to walk you hand in hand exactly how you can learn what it is and how you can monetize it. So let me show you a really, really nice site. And this is called Rapid API. And what this essentially is, is this is a market for APIs. Okay, so there are people who create APIs. And there are people that consume API. So let's say I'm building an app and I want, uh, you know, I'm building a travel app, for instance, right? And I want to do hotel booking. I want to do uh, flight booking. That's very, very simple. All I need to do is go into, uh, I can just log in into my free account here and check this out. I have this welcome to the rapid API hub and I can discover and connect to thousands of APIs. So here's my flight, flight data APIs. Look at all of these APIs and their stats, whether it's reliable, whether you know it's, uh, it's actually working and stuff like that. So I can use it immediately and I can go out and build an app. I can actually go out and build an app without having access to this data because I can just get it using this API, all right? Now the question is, how do you go about and start building this API, okay? So the first thing you need to do is you need to find data, right? APIs stands for Application Programming Interface, and all it does is expose data. And so all of these things, right, it's, you know, it's just data that, you know, other companies, right, businesses that are making money from it, they make it really, really to, to access this data, right? So that is what the key is. The key is finding this data and enabling the super easy access to it. And people are ready to pay for the ease of use, for the convenience, okay? And so the first thing you need to do is you need to find data. So I'm going to give you a shortcut. If you Google for open data gov, you're going to see a lot of interesting sites. But the site that we want is data.gov. And what is data.gov? Well, this is the home of the U.S. government's open data. Here you will find data, tools, and resources to conduct research develop web and mobile application design data visualizations and more so this is open data that you can use okay so let's take a look we can go into topics we have agriculture climate energy local government uh etc et let's go into data and see what we have we have 317 data sets found okay so there's all kinds of data and take a look at this you have um directional wave sea surface temperatures um you know whatever so many so much data so what you got to do is you need to find the data that you want so for instance you have earth science you can come in here western italian monthly snowfall right so this could be useful for like hikers uh people that want to do extreme sports right you know that's really the key is finding that niche that you want to exploit and so if you go into topics you have agriculture climate energy local government maritime ocean stuff like that so the key here is not about building the next flight booking app or a hotel booking app the key here is about finding data in a certain niche that you can expose so for instance let's go into climate here's another really really useful site data.world and there's enterprise data catalog for the modern data stack right so they have all of these data data access that you can use all of these data sets here so if you come in here you have business data sets, right? Globe projects, all of these data sets, and you can build an interesting API of that. Another thing that you can do is you can type something like this, list of new businesses LLC in CSV format, and you're gonna have all of these nice results. So check this out. If I go to this link right here, companies.csv, we have a whole list, and this is in CSV format, which is exactly what we need. And so really the key is, you know, finding this data, right? 
business formations, list of companies, you know, um, whatever, like a water temperature, West Coast, USA, CSV. You can do something like this. Look at that. North Pacific, near shore, sea surface temperature, CSV format. You have all of this, all of this kind of data sets that could be useful to people. Now, let's say you actually went out and you found the data that you want to use, regardless how you found it, okay? It doesn't even need to be CSV format, okay? But let's say we found in the CSV format, right? All we need to do is hit raw, okay? You get this data, you go to file, save, save page. We're going to save this as companies. And now we have this companies that CSV right here, okay? So regardless of how you found the data, and besides, even if you do not find the CSV file, you just get a list of this data. You can just copy and paste it into Google Sheets and export it as a CSV file. Very, very simple. But once you have the data in the CSV file, the next thing you want to do is you want to go to this website called retool.com, okay? This is this website right here, build internal tools remarkably fast. And if you scroll down, you have something called an API generator. You want to click on that. That is a free tool. And it says here, generate an API from a CSV or a public data set, okay? So we're going to say, get started. It wants us to drag and drop your file here, upload the CSV. So I'm going to drag the CSV here, okay? We're going to say next, and it's telling us, okay, edit the data. Click on the column header and select the data type and to order generate column for the, uh, the name for that column, okay? And so here are our columns, and depending on what we want, right, let's say, this is a permalink, this is a URL, we have a name, uh, we have a homepage URL, and actually this specific CSV has these column types. Most CSV will, so you can just skip that. You don't need to do anything here. You can scroll down and say next. And so right here, you generate the API. And so what we're gonna say, we're gonna name this companies. We're gonna say generate API. And once you hit generate new API, you get this API right here. So this is your endpoint URL. This is very, very important, it's unique. And then you have something called HTTP methods endpoints, okay? And what this allows you to do, or people that will consume this API, is that they can do a GET request, so they can get all companies, they can do a filter, they can get by ID, they can paginate, they can post, put, patch, and delete. So basically everything that they need to do, they can do with this API. You're basically handing them uh, a full functioning way to, to manipulate and to access this data. And the next thing we need to do is we need to go back to Rapid API because this is a marketplace. And this is where we are gonna be presenting our data. This is where we're gonna be selling our data. So we're gonna sign up for a free account. I already have a free account. So I'm gonna just log in right here. And what you guys wanna do is you wanna go into my APIs, okay? Because you can consume and sell your own APIs. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new project. We're gonna say companies, companies API. Uh, we're gonna say description is going to be, I don't know, business, business. Uh, we're gonna say personal, an API where you can query various businesses. Add API project right here. And now here I have all my projects here. Okay, I'm gonna go to companies API and I have this dashboard here. Okay, and this is my API dashboard. I can add new APIs, I can check, I can you know check stats, I can test, I can do all kinds of things. Here you can upload the logo, give a little bit of a description so that it can show up properly uh, on the marketplace. And then you go to endpoints here and this is where you need to create a new endpoint. So we're gonna create a new REST endpoint. We're gonna paste this, this is our endpoint. You can do a description, description for this endpoint. Here you're gonna input the name, right? And this is going to be your uh, API companies, get request for companies, okay? Now here, this is our first endpoint, okay? You're gonna basically come here and you're gonna copy this get endpoint. And you will need to do it for the other endpoints as well. So you can just do something like this. And now we have this main request, okay? Then you're gonna go back to general here, scroll down and you're gonna add a base URL, okay? And this is, and what is the base URL? This is the base URL here. This is just retoolapi.dev. You're gonna hit save. This data was successfully updated. And now you can add more of your endpoints. You can also test endpoints. So you can go in here, edit, and you can actually do a test. You can see if it's working, you can add headers, you can do all kinds of interesting things. 
Now you can also test your endpoints. So for instance, you can you don't have to worry about this. You can just say, hey, I want to test this endpoint. And because I know it works, you can scroll down. This is the response. And look at this. We're getting all the companies, right? Remember, we had uh, games operating. This is our API. We basically took this and this is what we're getting right here, right? We're getting all the companies right through this tool here, okay? But we're not done yet. You want to add more uh, endpoints, okay? So you want to go ahead, hit save. You want to create another endpoint. So I'm going to create one more endpoint right here. Let's do a post. Copy this right here. And this is post. Now you have this one endpoint and that is fine just to get started. That is absolutely fine. Uh, you want to go into monetize and this is where you can create your price plans. So you have the so-called public plans, private plans and transactions. So what we're going to do is we're going to create public plans. So we have a basic plan, which is uh, zero a month. So this could be like a trial, right? So we can say, okay, we have a daily quota of 100 per day. That's uh, very common. You can create a soft limit or a hard limit. We're going to do a hard limit, meaning that if they go over, they can go over, right? With a soft limit, you could with a soft limit, you can charge them some overage fees. But with a hard limit, you can't do that. So we're gonna hit save, and you can create a couple of pro, uh, pro plans. So we can have a, a monthly subscription. Let's do a rate limit of uh, hundred. Actually, no rate limit. We're gonna say it's gonna be ninety nine per month. Okay. That's for this plan right here. You can even do a recommended plan. You can do pay per use, but we're going to do a monthly subscription here. And how many requests do we want? Well, let's say we want 10,000 per month. Okay. And you can check other requests. We're going to do a hard limit here. And you can check how others have created their APIs and what their plan is. Let's do another plan. Remember, this is companies, this is business. So we can charge a lot for this. This is not consumer stuff okay so we're gonna do a monthly subscription we're gonna do 199 per month save changes we're gonna do a hundred thousand here per month a hundred thousand uh hard limit or you can do a soft limit if you want so that so now we have three price plans and you can have other things you can add features that's fine we don't need features and then once you've set up your price points you can go into view and hub and you can see that we have this api right here it's already created and we have one request here, okay? And then it basically creates this environment, right? And we can test. So let me show you how to test it real quick. We can just do a test endpoint here. And this is the data we're getting back, okay? So look at this. This is exactly what we want. So you have TV communication, rock your paper, in-touch network. And if we go back to our uh, thing here, our main uh, file, our data set here, we have in-touch network, rock your paper, we have, what is that, plus N, that should be plus N right here, plus N, look at this, and we are basically exposing this data for free, and we can monetize it, and if somebody wants to sign up, they can just go into pricing, and they're going to see all the price plans, and this uh, rapid API is going to manage access, is going to manage uh, the limits, is going to manage hard limits, soft limits, it's going to manage everything, so you don't really need to do anything, and it's also going to promote it, inside the marketplace right you can also go out and promote it on your own to different sites and stuff like that but this system is going to promote it for you now obviously it's up to you what kind of data set you want to pick but there are lots and lots of data sets out there you just have to be creative find a certain area find something that you want to promote i recommend going to rapid api and looking at different categories looking at different apis of what people want what people are doing and remember, what's already available here is just scratching the surface. There's so much stuff out there. And so you can go out and you can, you know, you can create multiple APIs, right? You can create multiple projects, 10 projects, five projects, and monetize them that way. All right, guys. So let me know if you have any questions or comments below this video. Hope you liked it. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.